The RGB tool palette is designed to work with JPEGs, TIFFs, or RAW files. And at the very top is something called Tone Curve Assist. I love using this because with one click of the mouse, DPP will automatically create a tone curve, giving you detail in the highlight and shadow regions of the image. Notice in the curve itself that the luminance tone curve has been automatically created with points set along the way. You can also set your own points by clicking anywhere on the curve and create an adjustment with any of these points by clicking and dragging the points. Also in the preferences under tool palette you can establish the tone curve mode to be luminance RGB. By choosing this option when you create a tone curve adjustment using the luminance adjustment it will be color safe. There will be no color crossover. You can, however, go to each individual channel, the red, green, blue channel, and create a tone curve of that particular channel, which does, in fact, affect the color. I'm going to go back and reset, clicking on the reset button. And let's go back to luminance and take a look at the curve itself. In the bottom left hand corner is going to be your shadow and the upper right hand corner is going to be your highlight region. This would be your quarter tone in the highlight, mid tone, and then shadow. If you click your mouse anywhere on this diagonal line it will set a point. You can then drag this point to adjust the tone itself. So you can easily go in and create any kind of tone curve that you would like using this simple technique. The eyedropper tool allows you to easily and quickly white balance if you have a neutral source such as something white or gray in the image. If you click on anything that is not color bias, it will go ahead and white balance the image for you. In addition, you have the ability to adjust your brightness and contrast using the sliders, the up and down windows, and or highlight the window and type in a value. Also, notice when you change the brightness and contrast, it changes the histogram and the actual curve itself. The hue allows you to add warmth or coolness to your color. The saturation, of course, will allow you to increase or decrease your saturation. And the sharpness control allows you to adjust the sharpness of your image. And by the way, the sharpness control for RAW files is in addition to the sharpness control in the raw tool palette. Finally you have the reset buttons where you can click on the reset button to reset any of these settings individually or the entire tone curve adjustment or tone curve assist.